Welcome back everyone to another video. In this video we're gonna cover Firebase configuration and we're gonna create Firebase configuration for our application. So let's go to Firebase. First we will you will log in. I already log in. Then you will go to another project. Let's uh, enter the name. It's gonna be called the media. Continue. For this video we are not gonna use Google Analytics and we will create a project. This is gonna take a couple of seconds and uh, after that we will add another properties that Firebase that we need for our application but when this is loading we can go to the project and here components like let's create a new folder called Firebase Firebase and inside the Firebase let's con create a new file called Firebase as well okay let's go back to the Google press continue now we got our media application we will need to set up a project so go to the project settings over here there are no apps in your project so we are gonna use the web we can click here we can add a nickname called media also we're gonna set up Firebase hosting later we can register then let's copy this npm install firebase this is our key that we're gonna be using in our applications so let's go here and let's just paste it over here after that is done let's go back over here click next we can copy the tools go back to visual studio code wait for firebase dependency to install and after that we will copy that firebase tools okay after this install let's install that tools and let's go back to the google go next and continue to console this is our application and this is our key that we're gonna be using so we can simply copy that let's go to our now firebase let's import it over here we can delete these comments we initialized our app with that firebase configuration now what we're gonna be using is auth auth and we will provide get auth from our application we also need to import that stuff so let's import get auth and on auth on auth state changed from firebase and when we gonna be using this in the next videos I will explain you what is it but for now let's just simply import it so don't we need to import it later I will later just explain it and what else we're gonna be using import get firestore that's gonna be our database from firebase slash firestore let's copy like this now we are configuring the auth and that we're gonna be using and let's configure database equals get firestore from our application and how we're gonna be using them through the whole application we need to export them auth database and on auth state changed it's changed my bad okay now when we created that firebase file let's go back over here we need to set up our authentication go to the authentication press get started for our authentication we're gonna be using email and password we can simply uh, enable it over here and we will add one more provider it's gonna be Google so let's 
click enable and provide your email for now and after that is done we will configure our Firebase Firestore database so let's go to Firestore database let's create a database we will be using starting test mode starting test mode so United States location you can put whatever you want I will go with the default click enable okay can I not enable Firestore project but let's go and try to refresh it and as you can see it's over here there's some error on the Firebase there are our users we will need to add them these are providers email and Google and Firestore database here's our uh, Firestore database and for that we need to set up our rules uh, simply we're gonna add here true because otherwise it's not gonna work publish and you can set up uh, your your own rules you can find them on the Google maybe from somebody else check them on the Stack Overflow for better application but it's just a test project so we will allow everybody write and read and it's true so this is our Firebase Firestore database that we're gonna be using later in the project to store all informations and this is authentications for users also uh, what you need to remember go to the project settings and import that project install Firebase and this is pretty much it let's go here and later we're gonna be using this through our entire application this is it for this video we set up our firebase configuration and firebase and later we're gonna explain what these things do and why we need them okay see everyone next time bye